This is Seraphira. Welcome to the zombie apocalypse. I am playing Seven Days to Die on Alpha 17. The experimental release is build 199. So, day 7, 1827 at the moment. I am trying to get the second layer of flagstone put down before 2200. So I might just speed this part up. I've already laid down some spikes around half the base, but uh, then I realized then I realized that the cobblestone slash flagstone was not down yet. So I'm going to try to do that quick. I'm probably going to do a time lapse while I'm doing this. So you know, sit here. I don't really have a whole lot to talk about at the moment anyway. So talk to you in a bit. two torches I have is what I have up. And okay, this is going to be difficult putting these second row up. Well, I probably should, I don't know if I should grab, whoop, there's an extra one out here. Hopefully you guys can see kind of what's going on because it's very difficult for me to see right now. Forty-five minutes. I 
could stack these up as a wall. I might do that in a future video. I don't know how well that would work. Alright, looks like I'll have enough for two rows. And enough time, hopefully. Now hopefully, I won't be blinded to the zombies either. Okay. Don't have a torch, so jumping across is going to be difficult also, because I won't be able to see where the lift falls off. Oh, I made it. Okay, good. Let's shut these doors. And hope that that stops any zombies from getting through. I'll just make them one upgrade of metal. Okay. Now if I can find the door going down. I don't think I shut it. It'd be nice if I could see the door, even by me highlighting it. Where's... There. There it is. Yeah, I need to put some torches up here. <laughs> Alright, here we are with 20 minutes to spare, and not a whole lot of light outside. Um, spent a lot of time just preparing the base and not preparing it for lighting. Hopefully it won't be too hard to see everything out there. Um, don't know if that burning zombie will come directly as soon as Fortnite hits, or only specific zombies. No. Or uh, part of the Horde Knight. Just kind of keep a watch on them. Um, I guess while we're doing that, pause for a second. He's kind of moving away. So let's look at Charred meat requires five meat. Bacon and eggs requires five meat and two eggs. Um, I think you just saw the max stamina of health. I think it's like 20 and 10 or something like that. So for two extra eggs, you get a ton more of your soft cap for stamina, plus eight more healing. It also raises your um, health soft cap. All right, here we go. And you never get, you don't get the hunted. I think they're over here. Okay, nope. They don't appear to break legs anymore, as I can tell. Yeah, I don't know how well this is going to go. Um, of cobblestone, so hopefully... Oh, jeez! Yeah, this didn't go so hot. And now I can't see anything. Nope, oh, and there... I might... I fell down. I don't know what happened.
Alright, they're running after me. I don't know if I just back off the edge. Oh, of course my door's closed. <laughs> seem to be trying to come up this way. I don't know if they're going to try to break through the hatch or not. <laughs> okay. Sounds like one of them died to the spikes down there. I'm glad I put all those extra spikes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the very first Horde Knight. Uh, they didn't have any problem going through 1500 stone. Okay, they are trying to come up the stairs now. You can barely see their shadows. So I don't know if they're just going to keep doing a loop. I guess they're going to try to. They broke the ladder down below. Hopefully, I don't do a quick view. Yeah, my bedroll is still there. I was just gonna say, I don't they don't seem to be smart enough to start jumping. And of course then they start doing it. getting smarter as the night goes on. Or if it was just the position I was in. Maybe I got too close to the edge there. Alright, what do we got? Okay, so we're one hour in. <laughs> like it used to and zombies keep spawning all night long or if you have a, a total of what you thought for your horde night. Sorry, the, obviously the quality of the video as far as lighting is not so great. 
I did not expect them to come right through that wall. I'm going to have to figure something out for day 14, because I doubt I'll be level 30. And have a cement mixer for the next Horde Night. One down. Just kind of watching for experience on the bottom right. I don't know if I just got another one or not. Come on. So it must have been the positioning of where I was. What are they doing? Seems like there's less running through. No! Got left. Three, one, two. Yeah, approximately two. I see the old skater punk and the bloated zombie. That's what it looks like by their silhouettes. Possibly one left, unless there are respawns. And of course, if your base kills them, like with the spikes, maybe it doesn't count. But maybe you personally need to kill eight. I, I don't know. I mean, I have, I have my blood moon count set to eight. I don't think I killed them. I didn't see experience. Yeah, there it is. Come on. Experience. I guess we'll see if anything else shows up, and possibly that is the the horde night. I don't. I didn't. Wasn't counting my experience click, so I don't know how often I got experience. Um. I guess we could try. Let's see if this says anything. Player game stage is 22, level 12, days alive 3, difficulty 2, difficulty bonus 1.5. That's new, I think. I 
difficulty two, difficulty bonus. So I don't know if there's a total of five game stages. I'm not really familiar with with that, but I just figured I'd bring it up so we could see it. Well, there's a loot bag. Let's see if I can get to it without falling off. Eh, okay. What does it do for block damage 30 compared to, I'm sure this is much worse, block damage 26. Oh, I guess it's not that much better. Um, but it does have a power attack damage where uh, Stone Axe does not. Just out of curiosity. Okay, so my cell set 25. I don't know necessarily what that means. As far as I can tell, this is not damaged. Okay, so they broke a wall. But the ladders appear to be intact. The fireplace is, or camp fire is still intact. Um, I don't want to really fall down there. Just going to kind of take a look around. So they came in that one spot. That's, um... I can still walk up it, so don't know what happened there. Not complaining that they didn't try to come up. Uh, anyway, let's At least I'm behind my walls again. Not that they did much for me, but there were... At least when I looked, at least four zombies feeding on it. Alright, we have light. Um, I really do miss my mining helmet. Have a look. I think oh, there's some damage. Not much though. Alright, I'm just gonna go around. Oop, that one's damaged. And it would be nice if you could see what was damaged with the torch, but so that I could see at the same time. Alright, apparently the Horde's night is over. We've got, what are we at, 1, 1 p.m., like three hours till daylight. So, what I'm going to do is I will do a time lapse until daylight. And then we'll we'll pick up from there because I don't feel like running out there without some sort of light and a weapon equipped at the same time. So it'd be nice if you could dual equip like a torch in one hand and a weapon in the other, but not at this time. All right, so here we go, time lapse.
that appears that it's probably going to be all it is for the Horde Knight tonight. I'm going to hold on to this torch for both light and warmth. Um, I guess we can go over what my skills were um, and what the three points I just spent. Uh, let's just start at that. Perception. Um, I got one point in perce perception just to... Or is that just... No, I think you already start with one point. So I haven't put any points into agility, or sorry, perception, except for the headshot, which gives me a headshot damage by 25%. Since it was really hard to see and they were running pretty quickly, I didn't really, wasn't really going for headshots. I just wanted to make sure I hit them. Especially since I was kind of safe up here on the top. Uh... Increased melee and block damage by 5%. Oh, sorry. I'm just reading what the next level would have been. Um, not really needing any strength. I have I bought Pack Mule so that I have those four extra spots in my inventory. I also bought Mother Load um, a while ago. So harvest 20% more from ore, stone, terrain blocks, and trees. Next one would be at strength level three, so I have to put a couple points into strength. Uh, I added uh, up to level three for fortitude, so my max health is now 120. Um, got a lot of fortitude points. I bought a huntsman so that I can get 20% more from animals, uh, more meat when you killed an animal is always welcome. Well insulated. I got that recently. Uh, grants five insulation against both heat and cold. Um, it'd be nice to not hold the torch all the time, but I know that my gear is uh, pretty awful right now. Got living off land. I can make seeds. Woohoo! Um, I don't know. Let's just look at the. I don't think it's changed. Yeah, it takes five cotton to make one seed. And until I get a iron hoe, I don't know what your yield from that one seed is. Um, healing factor, I upgraded that, so I'm healing one hit point every 15 seconds now. Um, the next one is going to be fairly important. Heal one hit point every 10 seconds, but you also gain one of your max health every 40 seconds. And I think that I don't think that means your max, because right now my max is 120. I think it means the soft cap. So if you've got 120, well, at that point I'll have to I'll hit be fortitude level five. So let's just look at that. So my max health will be 140 at that point. Um, I don't think it's going to go 140 and then 141 and then 142 and then 143. I think it's going to be like in this case, this is going to get to about 112, 115, and the soft cap is going to hit. What this should do is that it should go 115, 116, blah, 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 up to, and, and if I had Fortitude 5, up to 140. In the case I am now, it would bring me this little gray area all the way up to 120. So that's going to be uh, fairly important. It means not carrying around as many bandages, although bandages will still be important uh, for bleeding. I haven't put anything into hydrated. Um, once you've got the, the cooking pot, at least in my opinion, it's fairly easy to stay hydrated. So, um, yeah, you won't have to do it as often, but it's not that hard to refill your water bottles. So I'm not too worried about this right now. Uh, and I'm not worried about self-medicated. Agility. So I bought Rule 1 Cardio, so I'm increasing my stamina regen. Um, and it says when sprinting. I don't know if that's true. I, I just swore even while standing I was regenerating cardio better, but maybe not. I don't know. I've got the swimmer skill. Yeah, I can swim a little bit faster. I I guess it's not that big of a deal. Um, if 
I ever go back to the underwater base. Uh, it'll be a little bit more especially when building, uh, getting it started underwater. I've got the first point in intellect so I can craft the level 2 items, uh, or quality 2 items. I have not bought the 20% faster because this is the one, the level 20. I'm definitely going to want basically all of these because I'm going to want to be able to create the best tools I can um, and weapons. And I've got one point in Master Chef so I can make seeds. I, probably not important uh, right away in the game because you can't plant them. I've tried to plant them on the, on the ground the way you used to unless there's something I'm missing and you have to do it differently. Until you get the hoe, uh, you can't plant anything. So, those are my skills. Alright, we're five minutes to daylight here. Apparently that was my horde night. So, I don't I don't know if that's the, the, the game stage caused that many or few zombies to come. Or if it's um, that first setting when you first create the game where it says... Blood Moon Count. Yep, yeah, there we go. Blood Moon Count is uh, 8, and that's what I got. And that's what it'll always be. That I don't know, because in the other game it was fairly easy to kill zombies, um, even early on. Now it seems a lot more difficult. Uh, they just seem to be taking a lot more damage before they go down. And they seem to be doing a ton more damage to come through that 1500 pillar that quickly. Um, and not just one little spot, it was two. So, alright. I do, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thank you again so much for watching. And I will talk to you all next time.